Hey guys, Matt Johnson here and welcome to another episode of Coffee and Watches. Today's Friday, which means it's time for another watch review. Now times are ticking, so let's get stuck in. <music> everyone welcome to another episode of coffee and watches it's friday so it's time to decide what watch we're going to wear on our wrists for the weekend now before we start the review today i'm sporting the weird beard the man bun my wife she hates it what do you guys think should i keep it or should i cut it let me know in the comments section below for today's watch review let me give you a little background info i was born in 1974 i know you're like I look pretty good for my age, right? So, as I was growing up, I was a child of the 80s. You remember the 80s? Cool things like this, and this, and even this. One of the greatest things to come out of the 80s that I always wanted was the Casio Digital Calculator Watch. Now, I never owned one as a kid, but now I do. And so today we're going to review it. It was even featured in the 80s box office smash Back to the Future, where Marty McFly wore this on his time-traveling wrist. So, without further ado, let's turn the camera around and take a closer look at this watch. So here it is, the Casio Databank Digital Watch. Now, first let's take a look at the packaging. It's pretty plain and simple no frills here uh, we undo the cardboard box and inside we have a couple of things the casio limited warranty we have the watch itself now what i love about this is it comes on its very own watch stand which is kind of cool very retro very 80s but it means that you can sit this on your nightstand at home handsomely displayed on this watch stand which feels like it's been grabbed right out of of an 80s TV show or 80s movie. It's gonna kind of give you that nostalgia, which is very, very cool indeed. Inside the watch stand, by the way, in the bottom here is the instruction manual cleverly hidden inside. Now, first of all, I purchased this on Amazon and I'll put links in the description below. At the time of purchasing, it cost me $28 Canadian, which is about $20 US or about 18 euros. It was bought on Amazon Prime, so it came with free shipping, which really is in incredible. If you think about it, $20 US for this watch, uh, free shipping is really, really cool. Hey, it's not the most expensive watch out there, that's for sure. And it's not the latest Swiss watch out there, but it is a piece of iconic watch history. And certainly $20 is not going to break the bank. So you can wear this piece of 80s geek cool on your wrist and save money while doing it. Let's take a closer look at the watch. First of all, the case diameter is 34 millimeters side to side. It's got a case thickness of eight millimeters it's very slim the bandwidth is 20 millimeters here and it weighs in at about 25 grams so this is super super light i mean when you're wearing it on the wrist you almost forget it's there now this is the model ca 53w they've been making this model for about 35 years since 1985 which is incredible they haven't changed the styling it's still the same as it was 35 years ago as i remember when I was a kid. It has a mineral crystal face, which means that it's gonna put up to scratches. It's not as uh, heavy duty as a sapphire crystal. It's a quartz digital, which means the movement is not mechanical. It runs by a battery through a quartz crystal. It's got a tang buckle on the back here, which is stamped with the Casio logo. And it has a stamped stainless steel case back with the model number made in China. And it's got a screw down case back with four screws. Very, very easy to unscrew to change the battery in this. The batteries for this cost a dollar or two that's all and they are lithium batteries cr2016 is the model number of the batteries for these the band and watch face are made out of a black resin now this is really really cool actually it's very light uh, it's very pliable and malleable it stretches a little but not too much it sits totally comfy on the wrist and as i say when it's on the wrist you forget it's there it's it's really really light and comfortable now there are lots of notches in there so this is a unisex watch and it will wear male or female probably go from about a four inch wrist i'm guessing let's take a look here we'll close it just down a little bit yeah look at that uh, not even like a three inch wrist all the way up to the max setting here which is a good probably nine inch wrist i've got a seven and a half inch wrist so i'm going to put the watch on right now and on a seven and a half inch wrist this is how it wears it is a little on the smaller side again at a case diameter of 34 millimeters but certainly doesn't look out of place on the back there it's got another one two three four 
notches to go bigger. How cool does that look? This is going to get noticed on your wrist. You know what? You're not spending thousands of dollars for a Swiss watch and hoping somebody's going to notice it. This one stands out on your wrist. It's certainly a flashback to the 80s. And when people see it, it's going to show off your inner geek and your inner 80s cool. Now, this one has got a water resistance of 165 feet or 50 meters. But to be honest, I wouldn't personally take it uh, underwater. You are going to be okay washing your hands, possibly a shower, although I wouldn't guarantee it. And now in the rain, but that's about it. The battery in this is amazing. As I say, they're about one or two dollars to replace and uh, you're going to get a battery life in this of anywhere from three to five years. Think about that. A dollar or two, three to five years on this. So what functions do you get on this for your $28 Canadian, $20 US? What functions? Well, first of all, you get the time, uh, hour, minute and seconds there. It's also got the day of the week up here. If you press the top button here, you get the year, which is two 2020 you get the month which is the 5th May and the day is the 6th so that is on there as well there are two buttons on the side here pressing the top button once will take you to the calculator function now the calculator buttons on here are quite small you are going to need nails in order to press these buttons otherwise you're going to find yourself pressing two or three buttons at the same time I don't know if you're going to be grabbing this to do sums to be honest I probably will grab my iPhone to do that however it's kind of cool that you've got that function and it certainly lends to the geeky cool look of the face of the watch that is instantly recognized Pressing the button again here brings you to the alarm setting. The alarm on this is pretty loud. It's good. It certainly woke me up in the morning. Um, to do all the settings, you press this button here and then you scroll through the functions to set the time. Pressing the button again brings me to the dual time, which is noted by the DT here in the top right corner. So now I have this set to the UK, which is originally where I'm from, and the dual time. So right now it's 5.53 p.m. in the UK. Pressing it one more time takes you to the stop watch function the bottom right button here to start the stopwatch again to stop it and then zero to clear it and pressing this again takes you back to the time so if you think about it for 28 dollars canadian 20 dollars us or 18 euros you get a watch that is super light that is super cool it's a conversation starter and um, it's got dual time it has an alarm it has a stopwatch it has a calculator function that's a lot of watch for not a lot of money i would say this is a great bet and it's going to be a lot of fun every time you look at it on your wrist so there you have it my friends the casio CA53W Digital Data Bank Watch. It's very cool, piece of geeky 80s history, and you're going to have a lot of fun with this for not a lot of money. I want to say a big thank you to Bro Gilbert, who suggested that I review this watch. If you have any watches out there that you'd like me to review, please place them in the comments below. I read all my comments, love to respond to you guys, and also love the feedback and the ideas on watches to review and things to include in my channel. As always, if this is your first time here, please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button over there to the right of the screen and become part of my coffee and watches family. Also, don't forget to click on the bell notification button up there to the right of the search bar. And that means you'll get notified every time I release a new video here on my channel, which is every Monday, Wednesday and Friday without fail. If you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. It really does mean the world to me, guys, that you guys are enjoying my videos here on my channel. And finally, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what watches you love, what watches as you want me to review if you've enjoyed this video if you have any thoughts or ideas for my channel also should i keep the weird beard the man bun or do you agree with my wife should i cut it off what do you think leave a comment in the comment section below so enjoy your weekend guys don't forget to put on your wrist suit up boot up and go into the weekend with some style my name is matt johnson we'll see you again on monday for another episode of coffee and watches bye for now